Nishino-san wakes up from her sleep and goes into the shower to have her bath in order to prepare for school. While she opens the door to leave, she has a vision of a brief flashback. And this makes her scared. Her driver calls her attention and they head to school. When she gets to school, she is greeted by her friends. She heads to the hallway, and there she meets Kagino-kun, whom she despises because he always had a way of pissing her off. Kagino seems pretty aware of this bit, but it doesn't seem to bother him. To piss her off once again, he calls her a name that isn't hers, and while she tries to correct him, he doesn't pay her any attention. She becomes angry and yells at him, calling him a jerk. Meanwhile in the classroom, her classmates come to meet her and ask about the show she's featuring in. She, however, seizes the opportunity to boast about her goals to them. At break time, she goes to the washroom. While there, she looks at herself in the mirror, and this causes her to remember an incident that happened in middle school, and how this had led to her start hiding behind a mask. Back in class, her teacher asks if anyone would want to volunteer for the school festival, and Nishino raises her hand. However, her teacher declines her show of interest, saying that she has makeup lessons. Hearing this, her other classmates laugh at her and mock her with how busy she always is. Eventually, the teacher goes ahead to pick Kagino, who accepts to volunteer right away. Now sad, she sits in class, and is haunted by the thought that she has always been acting in a way so that her teacher and everyone would love her and not hate her. But this didn't seem to be the case. After school, she calls her driver to come pick her up. But he does not pick up her call. Unfortunately, at the time, he is getting beaten up by some thugs who cause him to bleed. Kagino watches from the top of the school and sees Nishino-sen walking home on her own. On her way home, she feels that someone is following her and she looks behind to see an unknown man behind her. Thus, that prompts her to run. While running, she was obstructed by a vehicle and two other men came out of the car. Catching her, they take her into the car and make her unconscious. After a while, Nishino wakes up in a building and finds her hands and legs are tied up, and she struggles to free herself. At that moment, she sees two men in front of her and listens to them as they mock her, and tell her that her father has a lot of enemies and they have sent a ransom note to him. Later on, one of the men tries to rape her and tells her that he knows of her past experience. Furthermore, he reminds her of the last time she was kidnapped and promises to give her a new experience. He proceeds to tear the bottom of her shirt and she struggles to free herself. Meanwhile, Kagino had seen her being taken earlier, and in a bid to save her, he positions himself outside the abandoned building and changes into a new outfit. In order to not be recognized by Nishino, he puts on a mask. After that, he breaks in and kills the man who tries to rape Nishino. Then he proceeds to fight the other huge man as he learns that the man was formerly a member of the army. Kagino beats up the man and cuts his hand with a crowbar. Eventually, he kills the man and walks towards Nishino, who is now very scared. He sets her free and tells her to be more careful when she's walking home. After which, he disappears, and surprisingly, she's unable to see him again. Nishino goes home wondering who her savior is and reports the incident to the police. However, due to her father's influence, the police never get to know what happened in the building that night. The following day, Nishino-san goes to school like nothing had all happened the previous day. When she sees Kagino, she reluctantly greets him, and this time he gets her name correctly, to her greatest surprise. She also notices that he is looking directly at her and she becomes bothered. The next day, Kagino is reported to be hit by a truck on the news and is said to have died. Although he wakes up and finds himself in a new environment and in a new world, he realizes that he's also surrounded by an army which he has the power to command and are ready to follow his every instruction. Still trying to figure out what's going on, he jumps off the building and is followed by his army. Then he remembers his past life and sets new goals for himself, calling himself the Eminence in Shadows. What exactly do you think happened to Kagino? We'll find out when the next episode is released. For now, kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more exciting anime recaps like this. Until next time, do take-